I am continuing my reading. What I'm doing in this series is to read through the entire standard works of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This consists of the Bible, the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price. I am reading in a chronological order of events, not according to publication or volume, so I will be skipping around a bit as I move along. Habakkuk, chapter 1. When Habakkuk learned that the Lord raised up the Chaldeans to overrun the land of Israel, he was troubled that the wicked could be thus employed. But before I read this, this might actually indicate that Habakkuk wrote his prophecy near the end of the reign of Jehoiakim or beginning of Zedekiah. Because that's about the time that Jer Jeremiah is telling the kings, submit to the will of Babylon. God has raised up Babylon. He has is, he is appointed Nebuchadnezzar to be ruler of the world right now, and you need to submit to him because that is the will of God. So Habakkuk might be responding to Jeremiah's words there. Let us read. The burden which, ba which Habakkuk the prophet did see, O Lord, how long shall I cry, and thou wilt not hear? Even cry out unto thee of violence, and thou wilt not save. Why dost thou shew me iniquity, and cause me to behold grievance? For spoiling and violence are before me, and there are that, <clears throat> and there are that raise up strife and contention. Therefore the law is slacked, and judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceedeth. So these first four verses are Habakkuk kind of lamenting, saying, God, why aren't you intervening? Why aren't you intervening? There's so much violence, there's so much bloodshed. There is no justice because the righteous are being oppressed by the wicked. Why aren't you doing anything about it? Starting here in verse 5, we are going to get the Lord's answer. Behold ye among the heathen, and regard, and wonder marvelously. For I will work a work in your days, which ye will not believe, though it be told you. For lo, I raise up the Chaldeans, that bitter and, and hasty nation, which shall march through the breadth of the land to possess the dwelling places that are not theirs. They are terrible and dreadful. Their judgment and their dignity shall proceed of themselves. Their horses also are swifter than the leopards, and are more fierce than the evening wolves. And their horsemen shall spread themselves, and their horsemen shall come from far. They shall fly as the eagle that hasteth to eat. They shall come all for violence. Their faces shall sup up as the east wind, and they shall gather the captivity as the sand. And they shall scoff at the kings, and the princes shall be a scorn unto them. They shall deride every stronghold, for they shall heap dust and take it. Then shall his mind change, and he shall pass over and offend, in putting this his power unto his God. That is God's reply. Habakkuk saying, why does this wickedness continue? And I said, oh, I'm not sure that at the beginning here Habakkuk is... As, as a, this might not be, as I said originally, a response to Jeremiah's words. Because this is, this actually seems like it might, might have been before Jeremiah made that, that declaration. So he's asking, why aren't you doing something about the injustice here? Why aren't you doing something about the oppression in the land? And God's response is, don't worry, I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to bring Bab Babylon in here, and they're going to destroy everything. That's God's answer to the wickedness that is already in the nation of Judah, is to bring the Babylonians in to destroy it all. That's the punishment he is putting against them. Now, in verse 7 there, it says, uh, Their judgment and their dignity shall proceed of themselves. In the footnotes it says, are of their own making. In other words, they're not following God's law. They're following their own law. They're following their own code of ethics. But they're going to be, they're going to be the judgment. And then at the end there, verse 11, he shall change his mind and offend in putting this his power unto his God. In other words, I'm allowing him to do this. And in the end, he is going to say it's his God doing it, and that's going to be a problem. Now we're going to get Habakkuk again. This is his reply to God. Verse 12. Art thou not from everlasting, O Lord my God, mine Holy One? We shall not die. O Lord, thou hast ordained them for judgment. And O mighty God, thou hast established them for correction. Thou art of purer eyes than to behold evil, and canst not look on iniquity. Wherefore lookest thou upon them that deal treacherously, and holdest thy tongue when the wicked devoureth the man that is more righteous than he, and makest men as the fishes of the sea, as the creeping things that have no ruler over them? They take up all of them with the angle, they catch them in the net, and gather them in their, in their drag. Therefore they rejoice and are glad, therefore they sacrifice unto their net, and burn incense unto their drag. 
because by them their portion is fat, and their wheat plenteous. Shall they therefore empty their net, and not spare continually to slay the nations? So the angle, of course, that's the uh, hook. And when it says drag, that's the net. You drag the net. So I think that's not, because it mentions the net as well, I think the drag is the action of dragging the net. They're, they're going to, but the, Habakkuk is saying, look, how can you use these guys? These guys are idol worshippers. They're treacherous. They're violent men. How, how can it be that you will use such evil? I know you're a holy God. I know you are from everlasting and you are a holy one. How can you look at these evil men and say that they will do your work? Now, some people have said this is Habakkuk chastising God or disagreeing with him or accusing him. But I think it was more Habakkuk seeking understanding. Habakkuk wants to know what's going on here. He wants to understand, and maybe we will also get some understanding as we read. So we will leave that here, and I will see you in the next one.